Hello and welcome to My City Week, a platform that gives you the best updates on Odisha, presented by My City Links. Our planet has been in existence for over 4 billion years and the reality of climate change is threatening to radically reshape our and the planet's future. The need for massive action to combat this issue has never been more important and urgent. Taking a step towards controlling those massive changes, the 2041 Foundation is on a mission to encourage young leaders to join a global team in Antarctica. One such participant is Raul Kilagal Nivedita Biswal who has been selected for the Climate Force Antarctica Expedition 2022 which is scheduled to take place in March this year. She is probably the first Odia woman to have got the opportunity to travel to the South Polar region for this climate leadership expedition program. Fueled by the 2041 Foundation and leading polar explorer Robert Swan to understand the effects of climate change in Antarctica. Taking a leap towards boosting the vaccination drive in the state, the vaccination program for children in the 15 to 18 age group gets underway in Odessa. While Odessa has already started to inoculate children between 15 to 18 years old with COVID jabs, there are 23.65 lakh children in this category and registration has started from 1st January. The state government aims to complete the process of administering the first shot to all eligible children in the age group in a month. To speed up the process, 939 special vaccination centers have been set up in Odessa, which will operate from 8 am to 1 pm every day. Odisha's Smita Ashok Kanungo brought laurels to the state by winning the Mrs. and Miss India Queen of Hearts contest held at New Delhi. It is never too late to turn dreams into reality and Smita has just proven that right with her win. A resident of Bhuvaneshwar, Smita was among 50 contestants to have participated in the fourth season of Mrs. and Miss India Queen of Hearts pageant. The contest consisted of three categories, Miss, Mrs and Classic and Smita won in the Classic 40 plus category. A soft skills trainer and a fashion designer, she is the mother of two teenagers, a girl and a boy who have supported and helped her come through with flying colours. India is now coming up with great opportunities for women to come out of their cocoons and outshine themselves in different fields. And it is indeed a very proud moment for Odessa when Odia women make their mark in the country and abroad. Achieving another milestone in providing world-class healthcare services in Odessa, the district administration of Sambalpur has opened a silicon cosmetic restoration laboratory. Touted to be the first of its kind in the state at the Regional Center for Disabilities Rehabilitation in Sambalpur, it is indeed a great news for the physically challenged people. This government-run laboratory will provide silicon implants for artificial eyes, nose, fingers and other body parts for people with disabilities across the state. Prior to its opening, the technical staff were given training in fabrication of silicon implants by experts. Silicone implants is a much better alternative to cosmetic restoration surgeries. Though the implant does not restore functionality of a body part, the temporary cosmetic correction improves the appearance which boosts the confidence of a disabled person. In another news in the healthcare sector, neurosurgeons at the Institute of Medical Sciences and some hospital had come across a rare human tail which is said to be the first bony tail in the thoracic region to be reported in the world. The newborn baby had a spinal cord anomaly with a tail at the upper back and a dermal sinus pit in the cochlear area and this is the only known case of a bony human tail in the thoracic area. Dr. Ashok Kumar Mahapatra, neurosurgeon and vice chancellor of SOA, along with neurosurgeon Dr. Ramachandra Deo conducted the surgery to remove the tail. The baby successfully underwent three surgeries in one sitting. This successful surgery is indeed a great achievement for the healthcare sector in Odisha as well as the world. As the coronavirus pandemic rapidly sweeps across the world, it is inducing a considerable degree of fear, worry and concern in the population at large and among certain groups in particular, such as older adults, care providers and people with underlying health conditions. Under such precautious circumstances, mental health awareness is the need of the hour. Taking this noble initiative a notch higher, a second-year computer science student from IIIT Bhuvaneshwar, Musaif Altaf, has developed a portal, Your Friend, to help people get online mental health consultations who are undergoing depression and anxiety. Here is a funny video just for you.
this we come to the end of today's segment keep watching my ctv your weekly dose of positivity i'm your neighborhood journalist afim firdaus signing off